Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl to Wanna Sky and in this video I'll be collaborating with Sumber Hair. Now this is a 16 inch body wave tea part fake skin closure wig and what I'll be doing in this video is adding some color to this hair. Now trust me when I say I don't, I didn't know what I'm doing but trust me the results turn out lovely so just stay with me while i do this process so this is a 40 volume developer and i mix it a little bit thin um not so creamy like when you're bleaching the knots i mix it more thin and i'm just starting to section out the hair where i want to add color and where i want to be black Okay, so for everything that I use for this tutorial, I will list it in the description bar below so you guys can just check it out. But some things will appear on the screen as well, so just, you know, pay close attention. Now, this is a section that I'm sectioning off for my colors, so I'm just putting that aside. It looks a little confusing now, just looking at it, but trust me, everything is going to make sense soon. So I start applying the bleach to the back of the lace because I wanted like a peekaboo effect. So I want the back to be red and streaks to the top to be red as well and the rest of the wig black. Like I said, everything will make sense soon. I think this is really trendy and you know, I love colors. I don't know about you guys, but I do. So if you do love colors too, let me know in the, disc in the comment section below. Okay, so for the top of the hair now, what I do is to ensure that I'm properly and carefully adding the bleach to the lace because I don't want anything to bleed through. It's a T-part lace and T-part means that it's just a little section there for parting, so I don't want to mess it up. So you just want to take your time and add the bleach to the sections that you want the color to be. And also what I do is to ensure that I massage the bleach properly into the hair and then I use a piece of foil to you know let that process faster so after bleaching the entire hair um, the desired sections I went ahead and bleached the knots because the knots were really dark on this unit and I wanted to you know let it look realistic so I went ahead and bleach it for a little bit and then I went ahead and rinsed everything out with neutralizing shampoo so this was the unit after it was bleached just giving you guys a view So this was the hair after rinsing. No, what I did was to section the areas that I am I want to color. So I want to color red. You know, I section it off just like I did before. So I'm using Adore Raging Red and Adore Wild Cherry mixed together, and also the color black from Kiss Tintation. Now at the very top of the hair where I want to add color, so if you guys can look carefully, I'm trying to do this streak thing. Now, when adding the red to the part where the lace is, you want to take your time because you don't want the red to bleed through. And also you want to ensure that you're applying sufficient color to the hair where it's bleached. Because guys, I made a boo-boo and I didn't apply as much color as I needed to and a little part of the red area was a little bit orange so I colored the black area that I want <laughs> I colored the areas that I wanted to be black jet black and the areas that I wanted to be red and this was the outcome so guys if you look carefully you can see the areas like they're a little orange yeah it looks okay but I wanted it to be full-on red so I went back 
like you know afterwards and added more color to the unit but you know you just want to add color as you go properly so that you don't have to be double working so in preparation of styling this unit i'll be using silk therapy by biosilk my fantasia spritz mousse and i use cantu heat protectant on this hair now i'm taking my 32 inch barrel curl up guys i'm no listen my listen it's like a hit and a miss for me with curling but what i did do before i start curling was to add some layers to the hair so i went in with a razor comb off camera and i just added a few layers to the hair so that you know my curls can fall beautifully So when I get really good at, at curling, I can, you know, do a full video with that. But right now, yeah. So this is the hair. <laughs> After I pinned curl everything, so I curled away from the face. Like I said, guys, no tutorial on curling right now. I just want to, yeah. When I'm ready, I'll have a tutorial on that. So I added my foundation to the lace, you guys know already. And... I'm just positioning the hair where I want it because guys this is a T part again I cannot move this part this is the only part on this unit so I have to ensure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do so while I install this lace let me tell you guys a little bit about this hair so after bleaching it the hair remains the same it was still soft still it still felt good from root to tip it took the bleach well um they were a little shedding um like when i was styling but you know it was very minimal and i really had to pluck the front of the hair like no matter what guys you really want to customize your units so i had to do that but this this hair quality is superb Okay, the only thing was that the knots were a little bit hard to process, so that was that. Okay, so taking down my curls, guys, I was so anxious. I was so nervous, everything, because I was like, ooh, is this going to come out? Is this going to come out good? Is this going to come out good? Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. But it turned out beautifully, and the hair held the curls so lovely. I just combed it through because I like a little bit of bones instead of curls. So I like that bouncy effect more than curly effect. So I'm using both a scissors and a razor to cut my lace off. I cut in a zigzag motion and yeah, like guys, I am so in love with this install. I'm so in love. So I'm just carefully cutting as close as possible to the airline. So you know, I can get that natural effect and I'm just taking out a few sections for my baby hair. Yes, baby hair with tea part lace. It can be done, it can be done. So don't let anybody trick you and say, oh, tea part, tea part lace can't. You know, it won't look like a 13 by four or a 13 by six or a full on closure, but you know, it can look natural. It can, okay. So I'm just shaping these baby hairs because I want to curl them so I can, you know, form them in the way they should go. No, I found that curling them makes the job so much easier. Like this, this changed the whole game for me because I'm no longer swoop, swoop, swoop. I'm just curling and just, you know, swish, 
swish <laughs> but i mean guys i don't know for you or anybody else but curling the baby hairs before really helps me you know so i'm just taking my edge brush with my green eco styler gel yes guys i started using eco styler gel because guys it doesn't make it so crunchy like the got to be gel it actually makes it easier to move if you make a mistake and it doesn't leave a white residue you know and it holds it just the same but it old it holds it softer Are you in love? Because I think I'm in love. Like, I legit did this for Valentine's Day or I tried to do it for Valentine's Day, but I got really busy. So, it's after Valentine's Day, but it's whatever. So, I experiment and it turned out beautifully, and I'm so happy. So, that's my quote Believe in yourself, you can do it, boo. If you reach this far into my video, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe it really helps me thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one goodbye